We are here today at the Florence School of Regulation. We just finished a workshop which was jointly organized with uh, colleagues from the climate team uh, and uh, from outside the, the, ener the electricity energy teams, uh, looking at the reform of the ETS, uh, the um, emission trading system in, in Europe, and what the implications are for the energy markets in the future. So, Simone, what are the main uh, elements of the reform of the ETS system? Well, the reform of the ETS, I think, is based on three main pillars, I would say, which are um, supporting innovation through uh, innovation funds and modernization funds of the energy system, and uh, mm, tightening the cap, and also, you know, uh, allocating targeting better the allocations and so to reduce carbon leakage as much as possible. Yeah, because until now the ETS has suffered from probably oversupply and it was uh, a, a, a proper design, but I think it was implemented and suffered from an unfortunate set of circumstances by which uh, the three objectives of the, the 2020 targets uh, for electricity, for energy efficiency, for renewables, and for um, uh, greenhouse gas reduction, emission reductions, interfere with each other. Now, how is this going to be sort of taken care of and addressed in, in, in this reform? Well, <laughs> let's say that the ETS was not very lucky in terms of uh, the time when it was uh, started. And uh, the, the crisis obviously made everything more difficult. Um, it's, it's hard to say how much of the difficulties depending on the crisis and how much on the design problems. But certainly this reform uh, is going in the right direction because it's uh, proposing, implementing uh, the market stability reserve uh, and other flexibility mechanisms that can help address contingencies in the future. So are we going to expect higher prices uh, for uh, allowances, more volatile? What, what, do we have any expectations? Because today what we've heard is a lot of uncertainty. Yeah, it's true. And the typical thing I usually say is that uh, we economists make wrong forecasts and then you explain why they were wrong. <laughs> so you shouldn't ask this question. But what I expect is our prices to increase. And actually, the very fact that the market stability reserve is going to be implemented has created expectations and increasing prices already. I have to say that prices are still rather low, okay? I mean, but we are uh, heading to 10 euros, whereas we are around 5 euros times ago. It's a long way to go still, but uh, we are in the, on the right direction, on the right track, I guess. And this uncertainty, I think, is creating risk in the energy sector, in a sense, because obviously investors know that um, the ETS is going to be reformed. Uh, at the same time, we have renewables coming in. Um, most of them are more variable, but zero variable cost renewables. So perhaps in the future, we'll have a mixture of very low prices for a lot of hours and uh, very high prices for a few hours. And uh, this creates an issue for market design because probably the current market design is not robust enough. And uh, we need to think how long-term price signals to support and enable investment can be combined with short-term price signals that uh, promote, for example, um, demand response. So now um, this is clearly the challenge for the future to try to have a more future-proof uh, market design. And I think this is probably one of the topic that we will have to deal with in one of the next uh, workshops here at the school. Um, Today, we've heard a number of issues also with respect to the ETS reform agenda. So what is, what is your take from today uh, in terms of future research and uh, sort of policy discussions? Well, I, I think the take home message that I bring with me is uh, the continuous need to uh, reform 
the design of the ETS, but any policy actually, because when we are based on past data, it's already too late. Things are changing very rapidly. And so also the MSR, which goes in the right direction, already needs some adjustments, for instance, in the parameters probably. So uh, it's a continuous run after changes, which is also a, a nice challenge for uh, the policy and for research. So a lot of food for thought yeah. for the future. So keep an eye on both the climate team and the energy team at the FSR. We will return uh, on these topics in the future with other workshops. Thank you very much. Thank you, Alberto.